body. You know, there are places all across campus that we just don't have access to. We want to change some of that with our Adventures by Video series. We'll be able to take you to some of these locations that are normally off limits. So sit back, relax, and enjoy PCC anew. We are going up the Campanile. It beeps. I don't know if it's recording. I think it's recording. Are you sh is mine? <laughs> so now I have to ask you, what did you expect going up there? Honestly, I was like expecting maybe a dozen big rusty bells and that's it. <laughs> wow, I'm sure that's what most people thought. Was it that cool when you went there? It was a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. It was really neat. There was over 40 bells and they were, each of them had something specific like inscripted on them. It was really neat. Oh, we're going to get some hilarious footage. Okay. All right, we'll follow you up into the cage. Ooh. Now this is behind the clocks. So if you look at the back of the clock faces, oh, right here. this is where you're looking at. That's really cool. Nice. From oh, here, whoops. this goes down actually all the way over to the room just behind the stairwell there in the communicative arts center. Gotcha. And there's a computer in there that runs all the bells, gives us a schedule. Oh, and there's a keyboard. I wondered how so that... somebody can manually play the bells if they want. Oh, this is. Oh my goodness. Yep. How many bells there are in here? 43. 43 bells. So 43 bells. Inscriptions. And all of these, yeah, they've got. Oh, each bell has a note that's on it. That's yeah. so cool. Mm -hmm. So, like here, you can see some more inscriptions. The Lord is my shepherd. Uh, Christ lives forevermore. If you look at inside these bells, they are scored to create just the perfect pitch. So you have the bell was created and drilled out, but in order wow. to get just that perfect sound, yeah. they have. The, the company that created this is, is called Burden Bell Company. Okay. They have one person in the entire world that does that for their for their bells. That's crazy. And he was trained somewhere in France, and that's that's just he travels all over the world and just does just that. So how often do people come up here then uh, for like maintenance and stuff? Usually when it breaks. <laughs> when it breaks. Okay. Well, you're in chapel on Tuesdays. We run through the bells three times. And uh, so you'll hear the entire 43 bells ring. So, oh, hear that. Can... <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it works! Look at that! <laughs> If we stay up here long enough, how loud would it get for uh, the quarter hour? The bells turned out. That's okay. what I was just going to ask so, that thing. So, you know, turn them off. <laughs> if they go off, I'm going to be upset with something. So, Jacob, yes. um, what were you thinking, or how did you feel when the bells went off at 2.15? Oh, the bells went off. I was trying to find out where the, the actual bell was. <laughs> <laughs> they were on. They were on. It's gonna die. On like 12 o'clock, I want to be up there next. Oh, time. just Lord. once. That's so cool. We got to hear the quarter after chime from up close. Yeah. Not something you want to do often. No, no. It's been a great experience overall. It was. It was really cool. I'm glad we took Mr. Keener with us. Oh man, without <laughs> a without a guide, we would have been lost. So lost. That's it. Closing the door. That's it. Well, we did it. We did it. 
That's all for now, student body. Until next time.